Hey guys, Mr. Vaughn here again with another technique video. Um, today's technique that we're going to be going over is batik, which is a surface design technique on fabric. Okay, uh, what we're going to essentially do is put glue on this as a resist, and then we're going to paint it, and then we'll remove the glue, and we'll have a cool design at the end. Okay. So some of the supplies that we need, obviously we need fabric because that's what we're doing it on. This is our surface. Um, this is just cotton fabric. I, I have a couple different colors. Uh, we're gonna need clear washable glue, acrylic paints. Um, I already have some of this prep, but we're gonna need some water cups. Um, so that way we can do half water, half paint to dilute our paint a little bit. Uh, obviously paint brushes, and then we're gonna need a couple surfaces so this is just um scrap cardboard that we have in the classroom you're going to need like two sheets of that for different stages of the project okay so i'm going to go through uh the different stages with you i already have some pieces of prepped to share with you um the first thing we're going to do is obviously we're going to cut down our fabric to whatever size we're gonna work with. This right here, I think of mine is like eight by 10, maybe a little smaller than that. Um, but what we're first gonna do is we're gonna draw out or sketch out whatever our design is gonna be, okay? Um, I used uh, vine charcoal, which is what we're gonna use in the classroom, but you can use a variety of different materials. You just want something that's gonna be able to wash away out of the fabric as you continue with your project, okay? So once we lay out our project, uh, we have the design drawn out. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna go straight to our washable clear glue, okay? All you're gonna do then is you're gonna take your washable glue and you will trace your design. You want to squirt out enough so that way you got a nice bead. Um, I know with my other assignments or my other projects as I was doing them, uh, I noticed that in some spots the glue is going to bleed together, which is okay. All right, but you can see as I'm going along, I'm creating this nice bead of glue as I'm tracing my design across my fabric. Okay. And again, this is why we need the surface because that glue is gonna soak through um, our fabric, okay? So I'm gonna jump ahead because I already have one finished from there. This one here, you can see my fabric starting to curl a little bit, but this is what it's gonna look like once you have your glue on there and it's dry. So you can see that my glue is dried in this, this example. Um, so the next step here is we are going to paint. So you're going to take your water cups, whatever colors you decide, you're going to do about 50% water, 50% paint. On a couple of my other examples, I might have had a little bit thicker of paint, it'll still work. Um, but then all we're going to do is we're just going to take our paint brushes and add paint onto our fabric, okay? You're going to paint pretty much all the way up on the glue as well. So that way we're making sure we're covering all the spaces of our fabric, okay? If we did it right, our washable glue should resist anywhere that we don't want the paint to come into, get into the fabric, okay? So you can see I could even go over top where the glue is. It'll still work when we go to wash out the glue. Now, if you over dilute your paint, it's probably just going to end up with lighter colors within your fabric. Um, if you leave it more paint instead of water, you might have more saturated colors, but it might be harder to uh, wash it out when we get to that stage. Okay, so I'm not going to continue with this all the way, but again, this is why we need a surface. So that way uh, we're not getting our table all disgusting. Okay, so that's why we're going to use the cardboard. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. I have one that is 
painted already. You can see this example. Um, you can't even really see what the design is. Um, this is an example that I did on a darker surface, so I did it on black fabric um, just to see how that would turn out. Um, once your paint is completely dry, so we'll have to break this project up in stages, but once your paint is completely dry, then we're going to soak it in warm water for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to come back and we're going to rinse it out. So I'm going to take a quick pause in the video so it might look like a hiccup, but when I come back, I'm going to show you how we're going to rinse this out. Hey guys, so we're back. Now with our next step, uh, once we have it completely painted, we soaked it um, in warm water for 10 minutes. And then what we're going to do now is we're just going to start trying to wipe away or rub some of that uh, washable glue. Okay. Um, and in this example that I did the other night to prep it, I might have kept my paint a little bit too thick so you might have a little bit of a harder time when you get to this and you're trying to wash off your glue you can kind of see where my glue patterns are on the back side of the fabric but on the front side right now it just looks like a bunch of paint so I'm just gonna keep trying to keep it in this water and I'm gonna rub Now, see, this is where I might have made a mistake, and mistakes happen sometimes. Um, where I might have had my paint too thick, I might have not diluted it enough for this example. Um, but you're just going to keep it in hot, your warm water, and you're just going to try to rub your fabric, and eventually it's going to start peeling up where the washable glue was. Okay? This example is not working the best. Oh, there we go. So you can see how, like, just in that one spot, see how that peeled up there? That's good. That's what we're after, like, that one spot there peeled. The rest of this is not wanting to. So, again, I think I just left my paint, my, uh, paint too thick. I didn't dilute it enough to where it would be easier to get to that glue clean that glue off okay um, but I'm not gonna sit here and waste your time so I'm gonna move on to the next and show you what it looks like when you get that fabric or that washable paint or washable glue to peel up so here is a finished example after I was able to get uh, the glue to peel up okay so you can see how it has this effect where you put the washable glue it's going to resist any of that paint and that way um, you're going to be left with whatever your design was okay so this is what we are after all right now once we get to this point in class what we could do is we could fold these edges over and glue them so that way we have more of a crisp border um, and that way it's not just this rough edge of the fabric, okay? Um, so like see here how the threads are showing? We can fold this over and we can glue it down. So that way it creates a nice crisp border for us, okay? But right there is pretty much the, the steps or the process to uh, batik or faux batik with uh, washable glue, okay? Um, I hope you guys have fun with this process. I know I did so far um, practicing with it. Um, we'll see how it goes in class.